Another really big strategy that I apply in my life, it is the idea of discipline uh, structure with uh, spiritual training. So for me, spirituality is not just sitting down and having a nice meditation and connecting with the divine. It is bringing all that into manifestation. This is why the system of Vital Tantra is an embodied or integrated system. I wake up in the morning. This is, Lately, it's uh, 6 o'clock every morning. I take a cold shower and start shaking, breathing, doing different movement techniques, different practices, sets of mantras, different sets of, of uh, breathing techniques and activations, and all that with different sets of sequences. And... Um, uh, in my in my life, it's about twenty uh, percent flow, twenty uh, percent discipline and structure, and eighty percent flow. It means that there is willpower engaged into the optimization. Sometimes I don't have necessarily the a high motivation level when I wake up in the morning. Sometimes because I have been staying up too late, I was socializing with some friends, and I came home, and it's maybe midnight or one o'clock when I go to to rest. I have a, a relatively short night, maybe five hours of sleep. But then when I wake up in the morning at six o'clock, I take a cold shower and then I engage into these practices with discipline. So the discipline is also something that is really important in my mindset and in my uh, spiritual journey. Discipline with a lot of things. Discipline in the way I communicate with people. Discipline in my diet and nutrition and what I choose to bring into my system. Discipline in my lifestyle and the choice that I make on a daily basis. How I structure my day also and the desire also to contribute in the, with the planet of mankind, I've been really consistent with that mission for at least 20 years when it comes to teaching and before that with research. So in the, in the 90s, I was actively engaged into uh, you know, testing the ground, testing meditation techniques and sacred languages and practices. I have been living in nature and so on. So during the first 12 years of my journey, it was not so much about giving back to the world, even though I was already teaching meditation around that time uh, and I was was, you know actively contributing of course but it was more about turning inwards and figuring out how to master my own system and then around the year 2000 things started shifting and then I started launching my own coaching practice to be able to contribute and bring all these gifts into the world so the reason why I'm sharing that is so that you understand that this has been a long journey of activation and the moment I started uh, bringing those gifts into the world in the form of coaching in the beginning, which was more geared towards simply targeting the challenge that I, I felt people were facing around me. In that case was my friends, male friends or female friends trapped in a breakup situation that was uh, very challenging for them. And as a friend, I could not really help. I decided to go into coaching techniques so that I could have a higher impact into their fields and have them help them more more effectively so developing those system and activating them into my field requires a high degree of discipline and consistency and you will notice that when you launch a, a business or an offering or something into this world then having the consistency to follow up is uh, sometimes very challenging and what I can tell you is that from all the coaches that were there 20 years ago um, there is probably only a handful <laughs> that are left uh, probably when I go back to the website I had maybe a network of 200 uh, coaches around me 200 friends or people that I met at conferences around that time around 2002 well there are not that many left probably maybe five to ten percent are still left active in that the rest uh, either gave up or chose all the pathways or simply uh, uh, created systems that were uh, too challenging to sustain. So I'm, uh, you know, one of my superpowers is to uh, create uh, systems that are uh, able, that I'm able to sustain on the long term without major effort. This means that if I'm not having fun doing something, then I don't do it. If I'm not having pleasure, if I'm not experiencing flow and experiencing a reward in the form of grace and pleasure and fun and connections with people, then I'm not doing it. It means that my feminine nature, my ability to navigate life in a way that is um, flexible and fluid, it's something that is really important to me. And I engage and I anchor that into my field very intentionally with any of the projects, projects that I engage into.